And uh, people want to know which types of wounds honey is effective on. Well, firstly, all types of wounds. It's the only dressing which can be used on any type of wound. Other dressings are only suitable for particular types. But for the really spectacular effectiveness of honey is seen on the very difficult to treat wounds, ones that aren't responding easily with other treatments or are very hard to manage um, clinically. Uh, these would be the very badly infected wounds and wounds which have got very inflamed, which causes a large amount of serum to ooze out from them, so they get very wet and messy, and there the anti-inflammatory action uh, very quickly settles that down, so the wound stops being uh, so wet. And then the other one, which is a very difficult type of wound to heal, um, is when diabetics have serious wounds. Um, the diabetes makes the healing process not work so well. But uh, honey will get these, the manuka honey uh, used on these will get very quick healing. You'll see when you use manuka honey on a wound that the environment of that wound changes quite markedly. Uh, the most noticeable feature is how quickly it cleans up the wound. If a wound is covered with pus or has got dead tissue adhering to it, uh, that can be cleared up um, just about overnight, uh, faster than with most of the pharmaceutical products that are used. The only thing that would work with that sort of speed are some of the very expensive enzymes that are uh, used uh, on, on wounds. One thing you won't see but you will smell um, the difference is how quickly uh, using manuka honey on a wound will take away the malodor that you get when you get uh, a wet and infected wound. It can get um, very unpleasantly malodorous and honey again overnight will take away um, th uh, that's that smell. The things you won't see but are affecting the uh, environment are the acidity of the honey, uh, which uh, will speed up the rate of healing of a wound. Research uh, has shown that acidifying a wound will give a very marked increase in the rate of healing. And another feature with a changed environment you get with a wound is the way the honey draws fluid out. Um, it'll always keep the wound moist uh, so that, um, that that's important for healing. That's been known since the 1960s that you get much more rapid healing if a wound is kept moist and drawing the fluid out, the sugar in the high sugar content of the honey, drawing out that fluid will keep moist conditions there. Um, but the an antibacterial activity of the honey stops bacteria from thriving in those moist conditions. A lot of clinicians, if they're not aware of that importance of keeping a wound moist, tend to keep a wound dry so that you don't get infection but you won't get infection if you're using a genuine manuka honey with its uh, special antibacterial properties.